All right, hi everyone, and we're back. This is episode, I don't even know what, um, for this one. Uh, again, filming in one sitting, trying to hit it off at like 15 minutes or something, and the failing miserably. I'm so sorry. Um, so this is meandering with Juliana. Um, the ABC murders, uh, inspired by Agatha Christie and her Harkipera. Um, Anyway, the Belgian detective is awesome. You've heard me go into diatribes before. Anyway, um, we're about to head back to the apartment. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. Um, so I will see you. To Scotland there. Yard, please. Oh, we're not going to the apartment. We're going to Scotland Yard. Okay. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what this has to offer. Hopefully, we will be done fairly shortly. Um, hopefully this will be the last episode of this. It's been a long day for me. I've recorded this all in one sitting, so it's been a while. Luckily there's been no technical difficulties other than the ones I'd created for myself. Um. Hmm. This man is not in good shape. Hmm. He is worried and very tired. And other police have been hard hmm. on him. What do you want from me? Hmm. Good day, Mr. Cust. I am Hercule Poirot. Ah, you're the detective. Yes, I am the person you have been sending the letters to. I didn't write these letters. I've already said so. Très bien. You did not hide these letters. But the question remains, who did? Probably one of my enemies. I have many. Hmm. I do not believe that you are capable of murder, Mr. Cust. I... I hope not. Hmm. You suffered during the war. It's true. I was wounded. I suffered. But... <laughs> the army was the only place I didn't feel inferior. No questions. Just orders to follow. Hmm. <laughs> but ever since you were wounded, you have absences, bouts of amnesia. And headaches. <sighs> Professor Clark treated you. Yes, a few years ago, he really helped me with my burned throat. Hmm. And to thank him, you murdered him? Stop talking about these murders! Do you deny being at the scene of the crimes? So? <laughs> there was no harm in being there. It was only for my work. Hmm. <coughs> 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 Poor man. If only I could help him. Ah, yes. But we can. Laudanum. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> ah! All right, there we go. Take this. It will help you. 
Thank you. <coughs> oh, good God, my shirt is covered in blood again. Bon. I now know where the blood stains Mrs. Marbury so came from. Are you well enough to speak? Yes, I feel much better. Do you deny being at the scene of the crimes? So? There was no harm in being there. It was only for my work. You were seen at all the crime scenes. Yes, hmm. I was. I travel a lot. But not for pleasure. I am terribly unwell in trains. But I had to respect my engagements. My employer gave me very precise written instructions about the towns I had to visit. <coughs> Let's see. The company you claim to work for, Silky Legs, has never huh. heard of you. And as for these letters they sent you, they were written on your own typewriter. The company sent me the typewriter when I started working for them. Yes, but the letters were received afterwards. Hmm. So it would appear that you typed them before sending them to yourself. I... I don't remember. Good God! I don't know what's happening to me. My head hurts terribly. Hmm. He is prey to a terrible anxiety. Is it remorse, or simply the pressure of the questioning and the train journey? Hmm. I know this medicine. Take this. It will help you. <coughs> oh. I think I'll be fine. Let us see, Cust. Look at me. You know very well that you committed these murders? Yes, I know. But I'm not wrong in saying that you do not know why you committed them. No, I don't. Hmm. Let us leave Cust alone. Is that the end of his tether? And? What conclusions have you drawn? Plenty. It might help us to understand him a little better. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Sorry, what do we know about Cus's health? Um, so, he bleeds on himself. We He has problems with his throat. You expect him to keep... ...of all his crimes, but Cus only has to collect it starting then. Um, he suffers from absences. Cus is mentally and physically weak, not really the profile of our killer. Um, are there any clues that do not support Cus's guilt in the Churston murders? Uh, that knife, um... Uh, 
are there any clues that do not support cuss guilt? Um, no? Okay. Um, these are several details that show guilt's not, um, can we say without a shout? I have a doubt that Christ is guilty. Um. Okay. He's not guilty. Whoa. Um, I, don't I think see the only person that before. we have that's... This is worse. There is one point, Twilight. Securieux cast admits that he killed, but he does not know why. What did Dr. Thompson say? Even if Cust killed while in an altered state, it still must have been his deepest desire. He must have had a motive. Let's keep hmm. it simple. Never mind his motive. He confessed. But you see, he can confess to anything and everything. He denied the murders and then he confessed to them. He confirmed that he never typed the letters. Then, with great ease, I managed to get him to say quite the opposite. Come on, he behaved like a guilty man. He lied to his landlady. Because deep down, he believes himself guilty. From the papers, he noticed that he had always been at the scene of the crimes. He must think that he killed and then simply forgot what he had done. How can you be so sure? Let us look at his psychological profile. You will understand my point of view. Let us now try and get oh, our joy. brain cells to work. So I think it's the landlady. I'm, I'm just gonna throw that out there. I think it's the landlady. Um. Um. So he's mediocre, not clever. He's easy to influence, not self-confident. Um, he's just harmless, no? Is Kel um Yes, he's a um You see? Cus character is quite the opposite of the murderers. But if he's a madman, can we really talk about his character? You know very well that how a murderer does not behave like a psychopath. Apart from the signature, there is no ritual of repetition in the choice of victims. Very well, very well. You're right, as always. So, we have no confession, no culprit, no suspects, nothing. And all that after two months of inquiry? What should I do? Have faith. Just hmm? give me 24 hours. Okay. Uh, so, I'm gonna call this good here. I keep saying there's like one or two more episodes, and I keep lying to you all, and I feel terrible about that um i just keep thinking we're almost done we're almost done um sorry um so i think next time's the big reveal it should be the last episode for this i've had fun playing this it's it, it's one that i don't have to talk a lot through so that's why i thought it'd be an easy opener um <sighs> Please give me a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Uh, like I said, it's all done in one sitting, so if you've noticed me trying to change what I'm doing as I go through, I do. I'm sorry. Um, if you like all that we're doing, if you like most of what we're doing, 
um, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love that. We, we'd love to have that kind of interaction with you on a, you know, and know you're there. Um, so please, um, thumbs up, thumbs down, constructive criticism, subscription, whatever you feel would best represent how you feel about this video, about our channel. Please tell me what I can do better, um, different, what I need to stop doing or what I need to kind of bend, uh, maneuver, change, probably my endings because they go on forever. But, um, anyway, thank you guys so much. Until next time, enjoy.